Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, we'll be showing you a firm buy now, pay later, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss. So let's start with how to create a firm account. Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you or we'll be discussing how do you create an firm account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, there's actually multiple ways for you to create an account in a firm. So I'll be showing you this article here directly from a firm. So there's actually multiple ways for you to basically create your account. But first, you need to make sure that you have your details ready. So that includes a mobile number that is in the US territories, as well as some IDs and some information about yourself. So the first way that you could basically create an account in a firm is through their online or in their, in their partner store. So at the checkout, you just need to select a firm as your payment method. And from then, you just need to follow the prompt and enter your mobile number. Then select continue. Now from then, enter your first name, last name, and your email address and all necessary information. Now enter your date of birth. And once you've entered your social security number as well, the last four digits for that, you just need to click on create account. And, and from then, you'll be able to uh, see your purchase decision. Now, another way for you to sign up is via the Affirm app itself. So you need to download the application directly from App Store, which is for iOS, or from Google Play Store for Android. Now, in this case, you need to open up the application itself, follow the prompts, enter your mobile number, enter your first name and your last name and your email address. And from then on, same thing, you need to enter your birth, uh, date of birth, the last four digits of your secu social security number, and just click on create account and fill out any necessary information or details about yourself. Now, another way for you to sign up is via their Affirm website, which is affirm.com. Now, in this case, you just need to basically go to their website here, as, as I'm so showing you right now, go to affirm.com. And from here at the top right, you should see the sign up button. So let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should be able to see the create an account section. Now, same thing. Again, you'll need a mobile number for US territories. Now, once you've entered your mobile number here, hit on continue. And same thing, you need to enter your name, which, is, which includes your first name, last name, and also you need to enter your email address and then ask four digits of your social security number and your date of birth and from then just click on create account so in this case there's actually multiple ways for you to sign up so just follow the steps that is outlined in their article here and you should be good and that's about it how to get approved for a firm with bad credit so you might be wondering on how to get approved while having bad credit in a firm so we all have having bad credit can be something really unfortunate and could help uh, basically affect you or impact you for a very long time so how do we actually get approved for a firm now what we need to do first here is we first have to view some articles and affirm here to better uh, help our situation. So go to their official website which is going to be affirm.com and in their website what you need to do is just scroll to the very bottom and you should see the section here that says uh, for shoppers. Now in this case go to the help link here so just go ahead and click on it and you should be able to see the help center. Now the help center here actually helps you give and give you details about regarding uh, uh, certain topics in the firm. So that includes uh, getting approved in uh, a firm and increasing your eligibility in a firm itself. Now in this case, I would suggest you to read two articles here. So first article that I would suggest you to try reading here is going to be the decline loans for first time customers. Now there are going to be a certain eligibilities for you to start using a firm here. So what you need to do here is first you have to consider your um, current setting. So one of those requirements is you must be a US citizen and at least 18 years old, have a security uh, security number, and you own a phone number that receives SMS and is registered in the United States or in the US territories. Now also, they might need to check your individual history here, like for example, your credit score, your credit utilization, your payment history with a firm, how long you've been or you've had how long have you had your firm account, and a bunch of other details as well. Now in this case, I would suggest you to read this full article here, and another article that I would suggest you to try view, uh, viewing is going to be the article here that says, Improving Your Eligibility. 
So in this case, this includes the eligibility requirements, what we viewed before, and uh, on certain aspects like your credit history. Um, in this case, I would suggest you, or even this article here, actually suggests you to basically help them un understand your current financial situation. So in some cases, it's actually better to contact a representative of a firm here just to explain your current situation, but make sure that you first have the requirements or you're eligible for an affirm account here. Now in this case, helping them understand and reaching out to them could actually help your current situation here regarding a bad credit. But yeah, so viewing this article here could actually help you a lot and that's about it. How to check a firm spending limit so the process is actually pretty simple and a very very fast process so what we need to do first is we need to actually update our affirm mobile application so it's actually available for download from the google play store or from the app store now upon opening the app and sign in or creating your account you will be redirected to the home screen here a pop-up will indicate your pre-qualified spending amount representing your spending limit or purchasing power. By clicking on the information icon, you can gain insight into why this value is assigned to you. Now, with this information at hand, you can freely browse and shop at various stores, ensuring your spending, rema uh, spending remains within the pre-qualified limit. Now, additionally, you can manage installment plans within the app by selecting the Manage option at the bottom of the screen. Now, another way for you to view your purchasing power or spending limit is via the stores that is actually associated with a firm or stores that actually supports a firm. Now, in this case, sometimes they would actually give you these details, but not all stores actually support this one. So make sure that you ask the representative on that specific store if you can check if you can actually check your purchasing power in their system. Now, by maintaining a good spending habit and consistently making timely payments, you may become eligible for automatic spending limit increases, as outlined in the Affirm Help Center. How to use Affirm Debit Card So, to start the process, it's really important to use the latest version of the Affirm mobile application. So, if you haven't updated your Affirm mobile application, make sure to update that. Now, rather than attempting this procedure on your computer or through the web browser on your phone, you need to open the Affirm mobile app. Now, once inside, employ the search functions or use the search function here to locate any store of your choice. Now, it's important to note that there's no need to specifically choose a store to generate the card. Simply select the first option displayed at the top of the search function and this option will be labeled as pay with one time used virtual card. Upon selecting this option, you will be redirected and prompt and a prompt will appear asking you to input the purchase amount. This amount should contain your anticipated expenses including any taxes and shipping costs. If you are unsure of the precise amount, make an appropriate estimate to proceed. Now, once this step is completed and provided you are approved by firm, you will receive the credentials for the virtual card you've just generated. Armed with these details or credentials, you are now freely to use this virtual card for online or in-store purchases. Now, to enhance its functionality, consider adding it to your digital wallet such as Google Pay or Apple Wallet. It's crucial to bear in mind that this virtual card has a one-day validity and can only be used for the specific amount and funds you input during its creation. How to make early payments on a firm So the most effective way to manage your payments is through the Affirm mobile app. So by the way, make sure that you have the latest updates or the latest version of Affirm. So make sure that you update Affirm as much as you can. Now, what you need to do here is you need to open the latest version of the mobile app and on the home screen, navigate to the Manage section by selecting it from the bottom menu. Now, once in the Manage section, you will have an overview of your total balance, current loans, and past loans. Now, within this window, simply choose any of your current loans by clicking on it and this action will reveal specific details about the selected order, including the amount due, due date, and other relevant information within this loan details. Now, you will find the option to that says Pay Now, allowing you to make an early payment for the chosen order. 
Now, you, sh uh, you could go ahead and repeat this process as many times as necessary, provided you have sufficient funds available in your balance to cover the costs. Every new purchase or order will be conveniently listed in this section, allowing you to manage specific payments plan tailored to each other. Once you've made the desired changes, the adjustments will be applied instantly. Now, by closely following the steps and utilizing the Manage feature within the Affirm app, you can effortlessly and efficiently make early payments. How to use Affirm in store. So what we need to do first here is you need to ensure that you have downloaded and updated the Affirm mobile app to the latest version. Once open, browse through the available stores and select your desired location for the purchase. Now, upon selecting the store, opt for the pay with a one-time use virtual card option, which will be conveniently displayed at the top section. Now, from then, enter the precise amount of your purchase, as this virtual card is single-use and requires accurate input. Now, after confirming the purchase amount, a firm will verify your eligibility. Now, if, if eligible, save the virtual card to your phone and add it to any virtual wallet you prefer, such as Google Pay or Apple Wallet. Now, finally, hold your phone near the reader at the store to complete the purchase. Now, by following the steps, you ensure a smooth and efficient in-store payment through the process with a firm. And that's about it. How to use a firm at Walmart in-store. So what we need to do first is we need to ensure that we have the latest version of the Affirm mobile app installed. Now once in the app, navigate to the home screen and locate Walmart among the list of merchants. Now here you'll find instructions for both online and in-store shopping. Now if you're shopping online, simply follow the provided instructions to be redirected to the Walmart website through Affirm, where you can proceed to check out and select Affirm as your payment method. Now, alternatively, for in-store shopping, select the appropriate option within the app. This will generate a one-time barcode, which you will need to present to a Walmart employee or associate at the register. As long as you generate the barcode through the mobile app, you will be able to pay with the Affirm in-store. Now, if you're not already signed up with Affirm, you can easily register by selecting Check My Purchasing Power and following the instructions provided. It's important to have an active and verified account to use a firm at Walmart in store. Now, once your purchase is complete, you can choose the best payment plan for you and manage all your payments within the Affirm mobile app. They will be instantly tied to your account. And that's about it. How to get a firm virtual card. So the process is actually pretty straightforward. So the most effective method to acquire an Affirm virtual card is through the latest version of the mobile app, which you can download from either Play Store or App Store. Now in this case, you need to open up the application, make sure that you have the latest version. Now after opening the app, sign into your account, utilize the search function to explore available stores and generate a virtual card. Simply input your desired spending limit, ensure to include taxes and shipping costs if applicable. Now, if the exact amount is unknown, an approximate figure will suffice. Now, upon confirming your affirm, the virtual card credentials will be provided. This card can be used for online or in-store purchases where credit or debit cards are accepted. Additionally, you can add the card to digital wallets like Google Pay or Apple Wallet. It's also important to note that the virtual card is valid for one day and can be only used once. Therefore, ensure the correct amount is included during the card generation to avoid future issues. And that's about it. How to use a firm virtual card. So the first thing you need to do here is you have to ensure that you have the latest version of the Affirm mobile application on your smartphone. Now in this case, once you've done that or once you have the app open, what you need to do next is you need to utilize the search function to locate the specific store where you intend to browse and make a purchase. Now, however, if you prefer not to choose a particular store from the list or find it more convenient, you can simply select pay later at the top of the screen using the search function. Upon selecting pay with one time use virtual card, you will be prompt to input the specific amount you intend to spend. Now, this virtual card is versatile and can be used for both in-store and online purchases. Make sure to include the precise amount of your purchase 
and accounting for taxes and shipping if applicable. After inputting the purchase amount, click continue and the firm will assess your eligibility for the card. And if all criteria are met, you will receive a card along with its details. Now, following the successful generation of the virtual card, click save to your phone and if you wish to store it in a virtual wallet such as Google Pay or Apple Pay, it's essential to note that this virtual card is one time use only and expires after 24 hours. Therefore, if uh, it is crucial to generate the card only when you are ready to proceed with your payment. Now, with the card details at your disposal, you can confidently make payments either online or in-store at your preferred retailer. How to use Affirm on Amazon. So, how do you use Affirm on Amazon? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So, what we need to do first here is we need to open up Affirm.com, their official website. Now, this one is actually really important because we need to access Amazon through the Affirm website so that the payment method should be available to us. So, in this case, once the Affirm website here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit and look for the section here that says Amazon and go ahead and click on it. Now a pop-up should appear here, go ahead and click on the shop now button here to pop up Amazon. Now what we need to do next is we need to choose our product and add products into our cart. Now in this case, I already added some products into my account. So let's go ahead and click on the cart at the top right here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to select all the products that we want to check out. Now in this case, once you've done that, click on proceed to check out. And from here, you should be able to see the checkout page. Now in this case, you need to choose your address here. Just click on use this address when satisfied. And from here, what we need to do is you need to scroll down a bit until you see the section here that says payment plans. Now other payment plans, you should see the pay over time with a firm here. But for you to have this enabled, there are going to be a few things that you should remember. Now also they have a link here that says learn more. Now for you to start using a firm, you actually have to have at least $50 for eligible products in your cart. So not all products are eligible here on a firm, but if a firm is available on your purchase here, it should be highlighted here and you should be able to select it. Now, also, a firm is not available on every country, so meaning a firm is only available for US, US territories, and in Canada. So, if you're not in one of those countries, then unfortunately, you won't be able to use a firm. But in this case, if a firm is not available to you, go ahead and select a firm here and just click on use this payment method, log in into your firm account, and from then on, you should be able to start using a firm as a payment method in Amazon. How to use a firm virtual card in store. So what we need to do first here is we have to ensure that we are using the latest version of the Affirm mobile app. So if you don't, if you haven't updated your app yet, go make sure that you visit the App Store first. Now, once you've updated the mobile app for Affirm, in there you need to navigate to the home screen where you can explore available stores. Now, if you have a specific store in mind, simply use the search function to locate it. Now, if not, you can opt for the pay later at any store option. Now, upon selecting your preferred store, choose the pay with a one-time virtues virtual card option displayed at the top of the search bar results. Enter the precise amount you intend to spend, ensuring to account for taxes and shipping costs if applicable. Now, after confirming the amount, a firm will verify your eligibility for the card. Now, if approved, you receive the virtual card details. Now, you could either note down the details or conveniently save the card to your digital wallet, such as Google Pay or Apple Wallet. Now, with the card added to your digital wallet or by using its credentials, you'll be ready to use the firm virtual card in store for purchases. How to fix a firm account. So having your account fixed is something really important, especially if you're using their services. So there's going to be a bunch of issues that you might have encountered with a firm. So in this case, we first have to locate the specific web page for you to properly fix your firm account or your firm. In this case, we need to go to your official website, which is going to be affirm.com. And in the very bottom of that page, you should see the following options here. Now in this case, look for the help link here so just click on it 
Now, in the help page here, you'll be able to view different articles. Like for example, if you're having problems with your account or payments, you could go ahead and just click on the payment section here and you'll be able to search for different articles or view some articles to probably fix your issue. But if done, none of those actually work, when we actually go back to this previous page here in the help center, when you actually scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see a section here that says still need help. Just click on contact us. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you what topic are you going to contact a firm for. Like, for example, if you're having problems with your firm card, you could go ahead and click on it. And from here, you could go ahead and choose whatever topic here. Like for example, maybe we want to view the firm card purchases and transactions. And, and basically, it's going to su still suggest you some articles here. But if that doesn't work, go ahead and click on I still need help here. And as you can see, you now have the option to start contacting a firm. In this case, you just need to provide your full name, your mobile number, and your email. And from here on, you just need to click on next and provide all the necessary information about your account. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to see a section to call a firm if you there are going to be uh if um if there are still problems on your account. Now, just to give you an example, I'm going to go back here, go to something else, and uh, from here, I want to maybe I uh, have a concern about making a next uh, payment plan here. Click on I still need help. So this is what you will be seeing at the very end of that specific page. Now, in this case, you have the option to call them which in this case is available from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But they also have the shop with us here, but it's currently unavailable. So they actually have a specific time for that. So if chat with us is actually available, choose that. Or you could go ahead and choose the call us for this specific problem. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.